Alors si vous avez toujours rêvé de réveiller l'artiste qui est en vous, euh, après des études de sciences, si vous avez toujours compris que derrière le métier d'ingénieur se cachait un artiste, eh bien, figurez-vous que l'ECE a mis en place un programme euh, dans le cadre de l'ING2, dans le cadre du stage de, du Bac plus 2. Donc c'est un programme intitulé Art and Tech et qui mêle intimement art et technologie. Au bout de cinq semaines, les élèves qui suivent ce programme, en général une quarantaine, euh, ces élèves doivent exposer une œuvre d'art dans une galerie de San Francisco, puisque oui, le programme se passe à San Francisco. Et donc, euh, cette œuvre d'art euh, est le résultat d'un processus d'ingénierie et artistique dans euh, sa création. Ce programme euh, a été euh, inventé par le CE Paris et euh, le campus INSEC de San Francisco. Donc pendant cinq semaines, vous êtes immergé dans le monde des startups, dans le monde du design thinking. C'est une façon d'entrevoir euh, un processus d'ingénierie et un processus artistique. Vous êtes immergé dans une ébullition euh, très particulière, hein, une mentalité de rencontre et de, euh, de façon de faire qui est très spécifique à San Francisco. Au travers de cours et euh, d'expériences et de temps dédié dans un Fab Lab et dans, un, dans des endroits où la création est possible, euh, vous serez à l'origine d'une œuvre d'art qui sera exposée. Et l'idée de ce programme est de justement redéfinir la notion d'ingénierie par la dimension artistique. C'est vraiment très important et on y tient. Five weeks ago, we had 50 second year engineering students come from Paris and Lyon, France. And they had been studying for a year and a half, building all these skills. And the thinking behind this is, what's the point without creativity? INSECT believes in immersive experiential learning. And that's why we're bringing students all the way over to San Francisco to learn new things in a new place, in a new language. The idea is that they come here for five weeks and um, learn about art from, you know, their art teachers and they, they learn about San Francisco and um, the art movement in the, in the Bay Area and what it's meant. And then they come here and uh, um, do their own thing. And they build an interactive art installation that uh, fits within the theme of imperfect, which was a, a perfect theme. It's a program that enables them to uh, be uh, more creative of course, uh, be artists for five weeks and also be able to be better human beings in a way because they, you know, they connect with the people here, they connect within their teams and so I think it's a beautiful program in many, many ways. Human Made has been great. They've opened their doors, they've trained our students in all of the different uh, stations where they're going to be working, whether it be uh, 3D modeling for 3D printing, or laser cutting, or woodworking, or metalworking, or even textiles. And that shows in the work that the students have created. It's really amazing to come into the space every day and, and feel the energy that the students bring to the space. Um, their products were very ambitious and they were doing it in a pretty short timeline. So um, there was a lot of excitement, a lot of energy, a lot of fear and anxiety that made it just a really fun project to oversee for the last five weeks. They're here really to challenge their creativity and, and do something they've never done before. And that's very exciting for them. All of them, as groups and as individuals, I think have grown from this experience. We don't want to do this in a bubble. We're very excited about what we're working on, and we want to be part of a bigger discussion. And that's what we're doing tonight. We're here to enjoy their work, to celebrate it, and to also to connect with people from all over San Francisco. A successful program for me is the understanding of why imperfection is so important. The goal of this program is to teach another way of thinking. And the goal of this program is to define 
that everything is possible with the help of people. When I came here, I, I didn't know how to mix art and technology and engineering. Like, I really honestly didn't see how that could work. And now I just don't see how they, you can separate them. We can't um, ignore our experience here. We have to, um, to take advantage of it because we get really lucky to, to be here now. We think that art in tech is the way to solve the world's problems. We think that art is going to lead to greater general creativity and tech is going to give us the toolbox to go out and solve these problems. So that's what we're trying to get our students to experience and to go out and tackle some of the world's uh, toughest and most important problems.